Hello everyone and welcome to Photoshop for Digital Photography. I am Ken Walker and I'm going to show you today how to apply a displacement map and get text to look like it is applied to something that has, you know, folds like, uh, for example, this flag here. I had a subscriber request how to do this, so they sent me this image. They got it from iStockPhoto.com. Great place, great resource to get images pretty cheap. And this is really very simple. I'm going to try to accomplish this in just a few minutes, okay? The first step is to go over to Channels and then select whatever channel has the most contrast. And we're looking at contrast within the image, not, uh, you know, not compared to the foreground to the background because blue channel has, you know, definitely got the most contrast. But we're looking at the contrast within the area where we're going to wrap the text. And in that case, it's going to be red. With that selected, I'm going to go over here on the right. And not all of this is going to show up on the screen. I apologize for that. But uh, if I click on that, second option from the top is Duplicate Channel. We'll go ahead and click that. Leave the uh, As part just like it is. For Document, though, click the drop down, Change that to New. And then we'll give it a name. We're going to call this displacement map flag and we'll go ahead and click OK and then we want to go up to filter blur Gaussian blur and we want to apply just a bit you know what let me cancel this because whenever I do screen capture sometimes the uh, area here acts a little bit funny on occasion uh, but what we want to do is go ahead and apply a little bit of blur. So blur, Gaussian blur. And just to kind of soften things up, we don't want a whole lot. That's OK. We'll click OK. What I might do is do Control L, Command L for you Macintosh users, and just increase the contrast a little bit. Don't need it a whole lot, but. Click OK. All right, then we'll go up to File and Save. Displacement Map Flag. Go ahead and save it. And then we can, in fact, close that document now. And here is the regular flags. we got to go back to Channels. Click on RGB so we get all the colors back, right? Go to Layers. And then we'll select the Text Tool or the Type Tool, however you want to say that. Click right here and we'll type, I love Photoshop. Hit the enter key on the numeric keypad and that'll finalize your text selection or creation. And we'll just move this into position here. I have deliberately chosen a fairly thick font. And now we want to right click on that text layer, on that type layer. I'll do it over here so you can see a little bit better. Go to Rasterize Type. We've now turned it into, you know, pixels, basically. It's not normally editable text anymore. Go up to Filter, Distort, and Displace. And here is where the magic happens. Leave all of this stuff to, you know, the default. Check it, though, in case you have changed it in the past. 10 on both of these, Stretch to Fit, and Repeat Edge Pixels. Click OK. And then you'll get a little dialog that says, what will your displacement map be? And we conveniently named this displacement map flag. Click open. And there we go. Now that in itself is pretty good, right? But uh, depending on the look that you're going for, if you really want it to uh, blend in, if you want it to pop out like this, obviously that's great. You might want to play with the opacity a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But another thing that we can do is to change the blending mode to overlay. And again, depending on the effect that you're wanting, uh, this can give you a very convincing look, making it look like you know it is truly a part of whatever object that is. So anyhow, that is my tutorial. Some of you have posted some comments about you know whether my mic settings and uh, how do I sound the way that I sound, whatnot. 
I do want to say that I am a professional trainer. I've been doing this for many years, so I've got a professional studio set up, uh, and I know my applications very well. If you're interested, check out my main website, www.walkerstudiopro.com. I've got sample training. I've got uh, samples of promotional videos that I've created, and you can check all that stuff out. So Photoshop is just one of the things that, number one, I use it in my business, the things that I do, and number two, I do train on it as well. I'm Ken Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope that helps you out. Try it out and let me know.